Hai Assalamualaikum My name is Muhammad Rizaldin Berizano My matrix number is 11DK19F1101 And I'm from DKA4A In hydropower plants, turbines are utilized to generate electricity These turbines rotate due to reaction force produced when one or more water jets are directed tangently on the vanes or buckets that are fastened to the rim or the turbine disc. The importance of water on vanes generate a torque on the wheel causing it to rotate to generate electricity. The study of this reaction forces which is the application of conservation of momentum principle is an essential step in the subject of mechanics of fluids and hydraulic machinery. The objective of the experiment is to investigate the reaction forces produced by the change in momentum of fluid flow as a jet trickling a flat plate or curved surfaces and compare the results with the compute momentum flow rate in the jet. The apparatus for the study of momentum of fluid flow is the impact of jet apparatus. Water enters a cylinder vertically through nozzles and strikes a target mounted on a stem. A weight pan mounted at the top of the stem allows the force of the water to be counterbalanced by applied masses. Water enters from the nozzle and after striking the ta target plate lift through the outlet holes in the base of cylinder. The vertical force on the target plate is measured by adding weight to the weight pan until the mark on the weight pan corresponds with the level gauge. Remove the top plate and transparent cylinder from the equipment and check and record the exit diameter of nozzle. Screw the 90 degree deflector onto the end of the shelf. Connect the inlet tube to the bench quick release connector. Replace the top plate on the transparent tank but do not fit three knurled nuts. Using the spirit level attached to the top, level the transparent tank by adjusting the fit. Replace the three knurled nuts and tighten in sequence to retain the top plate level indicated by the spirit level. Do not over tighten the knurled nuts as this will damage the top plate. The nut should only be tightened enough to level the plate. With no weight on the weight, pan adjust to height of level gauge until it aligns with the datum line on the weight pan. Check that the position is correct by gently oscillating the pan. Place a mass of about 50 grams on the weight pan and open the bench valve to produce a flow. Open the valve slowly and allow it to impinge upon the target until the datum line on the weight pan is level with gauge and lift flow constant. Observe and note the flow behavior during test. Now measure using the volumetric tank. This is achieved by closing the call valve and measuring the time taken. Accumulate a vo volume of fluid in the tank as measured from the side glass. Repeat this procedure by adding additional 50 grams each time until a maximum weight of 50. Five of 500 grams is rich. Then repeat the whole test for each of the other flow detectors. To change the target plate, undo the knurled screws on the top plate and remove this from the transparent tank. Take care not to over tighten the knurled screws when replacing the top plate as this can damage the plate. When finished taking readings, replace the deflector back to the first one used. Be sure to clean up your station and any water that may have spilled. Follow the lab manual, complete the results table and put together your lab report. First, I'm going to explain about the calculation of measured value for flat plate. The forces used in this experiment are 0.5 Newton, 1.0 Newton, 1.5 Newton, 2.0 Newton and 2.5 Newton. Each of the force will be measured for three times. So there are three measuring time will be taken for each force. For the 0.5 Newton, calculate the average time 
by plus the value of 38.87 plus 39.04 plus 39.20 over 3 and get the answer for average measuring time. The answer is 39 seconds. Then calculate the flow rate. Flow rate is diameter, which is 5 times 10 to the negative 5th, divided by the average time, which is 39 seconds. And get the answer for the flow rate is 1.28 times 10 to the negative 4th. For the other forces, the calculation are the same. For 1.0 Newton, the average time is 26 seconds and the flow rate is 1.92 times 10 to the negative 4th. For 1.5 Newton, the average measuring time is 21 seconds and the flow rate is 2.38 times 10 to the negative 4th. Next, for the 2.0 Newton force, the average measuring time is 19 seconds and the flow rate is 2.63 times 10 to the negative 4th. And lastly, for the value of flat plate 2.5 Newton, the average measuring time is 17 seconds and the flow rate for 2.5 Newton forces is 2.94 times 10 to the negative 4th. Let's move to the measured value for hemisphere 180 degree deflection. Basically, the calculation for average measuring time and flow rate for hemisphere 180 degree deflection are same as the flat plate experiment. So these are the value that I have calculated. Next, based on the data, the measured values for cone 135 degree deflection. Based on data, Basically, the calculation to find the value of average measuring times and flow rate are still the same as the flat plate and the hemisphere 180 degree. So these are the data and the value that I had calculated. Let's move to the results. So this is the result of flat plate. After find the value of all flow rate, find the value of velocity, calculated force, FTH, and measured force. First, the velocity is equal to Q over A. So 1.28 times 10 to the negative fourth over 5.03 times 10 to the negative fifth and get the answer 2.54 meter per second. After that, calculated force FTH. FTH is rho QV. So, in bracket, 1000 times in bracket 1.28 times 10 to the negative fourth in bracket 2.54 is equal to 0 0.33. That is the value of measured force 0 0.5 Newton. Next, use the same method and calculation to find the value of velocity and calculated force for the other measured force. Next, result for hemisphere 180 degree deflection. After we get the flow rate, we can find the value of velocity. Velocity are Q over A. So, 9.09 .09 times to the to the negative fifth over 5.03 times to the negative fourth and get the answer 1.81 meter per second. Next, the value of calculated force FTH. FTH for hemisphere 180 de degree deflection is equal to rho Q to V. So 1000 times in bracket 9.09 .09 times 10 to the negative fifth times by 2 in bracket 1.81 and the answer is 0 0.33 newton the same method of calculation applied to all forces to find the value of velocity and calculated force fth next find the results of cone 
135 degree deflection. The method to find the velocity is still the same as the flat plate and the hemisphere. The calculated force FDH for cone is equal to rho QV in bracket 1 plus cos alpha 2 to the second. The alpha is 135 degree or 45 degree. So we get the answer for calculated force for 0 0.5 newton it is 0 0.12. The same method of calculation applied to the other forces. So this is the discussion. Find the comparison of four bodies. Based on the data, these are all the calculated forces FDH value that I have recorded in the table. For 0.5 Newton, the flat plate value is 0.33. The hemisphere value is also 0.33. And the cone value is 0.12. For 1.0, the value for flat plate is 0 0.73, hemisphere 0 0.77, and cone 0 0.12. Next, 1.5 Newton, the value of flat plate is 1.13, hemisphere is 0 0.68, and the value of 1.5 Newton for cone is 0 0.95. For the loading of 2.0 Newton, Plate is 1.38, hemisphere is 0.64, and cone is 1.38. Lastly, for the loading of 2.5 Newton, the FTH of plate is 1.72, hemisphere is 0.80, and cone is 1.37. So this is the graph of forced versus calculated forces for different deflectors. I will start with the flat plate graph. This graph shows the increases value of force throughout the experiment is running. Next, for the hemisphere graph, the graph are increasing until the 1.0 Newton and start decreasing from 1.0 Newton to 2 Newton and lastly increase back at the end of the experiment. For cone graph, the graph is increased and remain the same value at 2 Newton and 2.5 Newton at the end of experiment. As the conclusion, the experiment that have been carried out were successful even though the data collected are a little bit different compared to the theoretical value. The difference between the theoretical values and the actual value may mainly due to human and servicing factors such as parallax error. This error occurred during observer captured the value of the water level. That is all from me. Thank you for your time.